How's it going, guys? My name is Dave Poyomo, full-time eBay reseller. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how much you guys should be paying for um, to have a good profit margin when it comes to eBay. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So uh, this person the other day commented on one of my videos and said that at the end of the year, you make no profit when it comes to eBay. And I pretty much told them, uh, you know, speak for yourself. Uh, my profit margins are pretty good on eBay. At least I'm happy with them. And, uh, you know, everyone has different profit margins, but you can control it to a certain extent. Um, but in that guy's case, um, you know, his profit margins weren't good because he wasn't doing what I'm about to tell you guys. Um, and what I do normally is, you know, uh, some people think, okay, if I spent a hundred dollars on something and sell it for 200, that's a hundred dollars profit. When it comes to eBay, that is not true. Um, and me and, uh, Colin and, um, you know, my dad, um, if you guys watch my videos, you know, we, don't like to pay more than 50% for an item if we're going to flip it on eBay. If we're going to flip it cash or it's going to be a, a quick transaction um, when it comes to like maybe on Facebook Marketplace. It is different. But when it comes to selling on eBay, no more than 50%. Uh, because once it's 50% of what you're going to sell for, the fees cut into it quite a bit. Unless, you know, that, and uh, I actually had a coaching call today. If you guys are interested in like a one-on-one -on -one coaching call for your personal situation, my website is down below for that. But today I had I had one today, and he asked me if I buy a certain kind of item, and I told him, honestly, I don't really care what I'm selling. I usually stick with electronics, but if it's something I don't normally buy, um, and it's sellable, I will buy it and sell it for the right price. And I explained to them this, that um, I don't try to pay more than thirty percent of what the item goes for if I'm going to sell it on eBay, because um, the fees cut into it, your taxes, the time to do it. And the storage, um, you know, all plays a role when it comes to selling on eBay. Sorry, guys. Right now, I'm at the warehouse, and it's, like, raining hella hard. I'm going to go into my office. Right, yeah, so in here in the office, is not as loud. But, yeah, guys, um, whenever I try to do a deal for something and uh, try to buy it, I really do try to stay in that 30% uh, of what it goes for um, and buying it. Obviously, if you can get it for 1% or 2%, which those deals do pop up when you're constantly looking for deals, as you get really lucky and you pay one percent of what the item goes for um but if you're indecisive on a, a deal and you're like damn i don't know if i should do this um and it's like a a thousand dollar deal for you know a couple items make sure you guys are paying at least uh no more than 30 percent um if it's a couple items and you know i have uh messed up in the past where i pay too much for items and uh i'm just telling you guys um, if you guys are going to, you know, take my advice to not go more than 30, um, in certain occasions, because there has been instances where I can pay a couple thousand dollars, let's say for it, this is just an example. Um, I can buy, um, 10 items for $5,000. It's a high ticket item, right? And I can make 10,000, but I'm going to sell them all within a week, right? Um, that is worth it to me. It's worth it to most people, even after the fees, uh, cause you're probably going to clear $3,000 in profit. You know, you might make like uh, $7,500 or $8,000 after the fees. And then, you know, you pay $5,000. So that's your profit. And if it's that quick, it is worth it, right? <clears throat> so don't take that 50% uh, too literally or the 30% too literally because there are sometimes where if it's an item that sells really quickly, it is worth it to get it either way. So um, it just really depends on what the situation is. But if it's something that's a little more normal that you're not going to be able to sell immediately, uh, more of a common uh, sell through rate on eBay is probably like one month, two months, three months. Uh, more of a common item. I don't go more than 30%. If it's a very fast selling item, I'll get close to the 50. But even if it's something I could buy this week and sell next week, that's higher ticket and I'm paying 50%, I try to watch it a little bit. It all depends on the situation at hand. But as a whole, when it comes to eBay, most people aren't going to be able to run into those monster deals where. You can spend five and make 10 within a week. It's happened to me a few times, <clears throat> you know, it happens here and there, but um, it's not common. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, appeal to the, uh, the people that are starting out on eBay and trying to figure it out. So um, when you're starting out, try to be very conservative, 30% um, of what the item goes for. If it goes for uh, no more, you know, when you're starting out, if it goes for hundred dollars on eBay, don't pay more than 30 bucks. Uh, because the, the the fees, honestly, guys, with, with fees and the taxes you give to the government and uh, the storage, even if you're at your house, 
um, you're probably going to pay 30 bucks and all that in that same item. And then you're left with, uh, you know, not that much as what you think as you don't, you don't see that hundred dollar bill, you know? So, um, that's my advice. Obviously if you can get it cheaper, get it cheaper. Uh, but I try to not go more than 30%. And uh, I buy a lot of products <clears throat> so I can get them even lower than 30%. But there are instances where I'm just buying a few items and uh, they know what they're selling and I know what I'm buying. And I, whenever I am dealing with someone, um, I had a buddy that had a bunch of Bose speakers uh, recently and uh, he was trying to sell them to me. So they go for like 180 each and he was trying to sell them to me for 100. And I told him, dude, I, I cannot do that. Um, and he was like, dude, uh, I mean, they go for like 180, you can make $80 profit. And I'm like, okay, dude. So um, once I sell them for 180, I'm only going to see like 150 or 140 uh, after eBay. I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars to make 40. Uh, for some people that might be good for me personally, that's not that good. And, uh, I told him, well, he told me to make him an offer. And I was like, you're not going to like what I'm about to tell you, but, um, I give you 50 bucks and, uh, that's my final offer. And I, I cannot do more than that. That's about 30% of what the item goes for. It goes for 180. Um, so that's the absolute most I could do. Um, if you don't want to sell them to me, that's perfectly fine. You can make more money if you sell them yourself, you know, on eBay. Um, and I, I told him that and he was like, okay, I'm gonna let you know. And, uh, you know, uh, the following day he said, okay. And I bought like 30 of them off of him for 50 bucks each. But, uh, I was pretty firm on that. And I told him, I explained to him, Hey man, um, you know, I have to list, I have to pay to list it. I have to pay to ship it. Um, I have to, you know, I, I added a bunch of stuff that doesn't really take that much time to do, but you have to sell it. You have to negotiate. You have to make it seem that it's a hassle to sell on eBay and that, um, you'd have to meet you in the middle ground, but really, obviously I could have paid honestly 80 it's still worth it. Um, because all those speakers sold very quickly, but, uh, you know, when it comes to eBay too, when you're getting deals, um, it is very important to negotiate and, uh, kind of speak and kind of learn a little bit of sales and, uh, learn how to make an item seem less than what it is. And, uh, that's how I've been able to, you know, make a, a good amount of profit on a lot of items because I, I try to lowball people and make it seem like that what they have is not what they think. And, uh, just make it seem like it's a piece of garbage. Um, uh, even though it's good, it's like, ah, yeah, bro. But by the time they sell and the fees and shipping, every time I've done that, um, that's where I really get good deals and, uh, you know, they get money. If they don't want to take the deal, that's fine. Uh, you guys can be picky. Okay. You, you don't, you don't have to take every single deal that comes on your table. Try to be picky. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of my, my two cents on that. Um, now at the, at the point I'm at now with eBay is I make my money from, um, negotiating with people and talking to them and, um, getting my items cheaper, right. And knowing what I'm buying. Um, and that's how you really make your money when it comes to eBay. Obviously the listing is important. Um, uh, shipping is important on time, uh, messages, customer service, uh, checking your account health. It's all important, but at the end of the day, it's how much you pay for the item and how much you sell them for. Um, that's really where the profit is. And if you can really negotiate and really bring people down on the prices and get it in bulk and save some money there, um, it'll give you some uh, breathing room to be able to pay for a warehouse or your storage unit or your uh, apartment bedroom that's extra so you can store your items. Um, if you can get the items the cheapest possible and make the most amount of profit when it comes to selling the items, that will give you a lot of liberty to uh, you know pay for the other things that come to having the eBay store and the fees and all that. So, um, back to that guy's comment. Um, it's, you know, some people don't make that much profit at the end of the year. Um, but if you can get really good at negotiating and getting good deals and knowing how to walk away, so you do only make profit and it's okay to walk away from deals. You know, if you're going to negotiate and make, um, good business with people like that, um, you know, it, 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 it works well. And, uh, luckily I had my dad to teach me, um, you know, how to negotiate and be calling, uh, calling, uh, my buddy. I remember once we were doing a deal and, uh, the guy had told us that he wanted like, um, 2000 bucks for something. And in my head, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like we're about to make 15 on this. Right. And I was like, uh, I was about to pull out the money. I was like, I'm ready to go 2000. Hell yeah. And then Colin, uh, was like, ah, oh, I don't know, man. It's, 
It's a lot of big stuff. I mean, obviously you're you're just trying to get rid of it for a reason. And uh, he like really brought him down. And in my head, I was like, this motherfucker is good. Like I was ready to go for 2000. We ended up getting that for like a thousand. And uh, obviously there's levels to everything, but that's an extra thousand dollars of breathing room for profit. Um, and that goes a long way. Most people are just going to pull the trigger, pay the two. And most people are going to get taken advantage of by the seller and pay three or four. Um, and uh, Colin is really good at that. I'm trying to get better at it. Um, everyone's different in that kind of level. My dad is really good at that when it comes to that. He'll really bring some people down on the prices. Um, but that just takes time. It takes practice. I'm still trying to get better at it. And uh, yeah, guys, so it's just a negotiating thing. I'm being fair as well. I try to explain to people like, hey, I can't pay more than this because of this. I'll show people the um, you know, the prices when it comes to eBay, a lot of people know that what we do at this point, you know, eBay is starting to become a pretty big thing. When they see you with your phone out in a backpack and a cart at the flea market, they know what you're about to do, you know? So if you can explain them how the business works, even if you're just straight up with them and you're explaining to, to them what I explained to uh, them, or if you, if you explain to them what I'm explaining to you, um, they'll more than likely be like, okay, fuck it. We could just be at 30%, whatever it is. Um, and I'm fair like that with other people as well when they buy from me uh, and they come to my warehouse and, and buy stuff. I'm like, hey, I could do 30%. That's a good margin for you. That's a good margin for me. I'm just trying to get rid of the item or I'm just trying to move this product. Um, if you can explain it to them like that, like, hey, man, it's maybe, you know, exaggerate a little bit. It's 30% for fees and then I have to pay shipping and I have to store it and I have to pay someone to list it and I have to pay someone to clean it. You know, I can't pay more than 30%. And most of the time they're going to be like, ah, you know what? Okay. So that's what I've been doing. It helps me out a lot. So that hopefully that answers the question of the video. If you guys learned something in this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more consistently um, on here. Because uh, I've been just working by myself, trying to list 40 a day and, and buy and ship um and just live like a normal life uh so it's been kind of hard to list videos but um i finally got a a person that's gonna help me out listing um at least he's gonna come in kind of part-time 10 15 hours a week and just really list so it's gonna give me um, some extra free time to uh push some videos um if you guys are interested in the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls it is down below my website if you guys are interested in uh, my website for bulk buying uh you know electronics it is down below as well um but yeah guys i'm gonna show you guys some of the pallets i have ready to go um i have thousands of items ready for you guys it's pouring down rain like crazy uh but yeah guys i have a ton of product right now it was on the sub in the thumbnail damn uh, and uh this is a update on the jet ski i got it all sanded down it's a 1990 yamaha wave runner um but yeah i'm gonna sand it down i'm gonna paint it uh it's gonna be a pretty cool color there's another jet ski i had gotten getting ready for the summer it is pouring down so much right now. It's actually like scary. Um, here where I live, it, it flooded up and uh, people's houses got flooded up like a couple feet underwater. So yeah, that's it's pretty bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing. Drop a comment of what to make a video about uh, for the next one. I'm gonna catch you guys later.